Hello, welcome back. This is part two of Spurverts. This week, I'm getting pretty spurverted because I'm very excited to find out how we've making all this money on players who are not worth that much money. And that is because Baldini has now been put just in charge of sales. He's no longer in charge of buying players, just in charge of selling players. That's why we're making so much profit on people like Stambouli. Yeah. We're getting money for Paulinho, Capu, Norton, Holtby. He's just in charge of getting a good deal. So he's completely done a 180. And exactly. Thought, you know what? Maybe that wasn't my forte. Maybe I need exactly. to be selling the players instead of going to Roma and bringing them in all the time. Precisely. Now we've got Paul Mitchell doing that. Paul Mitchell with his amazing combination from the Saints yeah. with Pochettino. Now they together are in charge of buying and we just got Baldini in terms of selling, getting uh, us the money for Paul Mitchell to go and buy the players. And I like Mitchell. it. I like the system. Uh, it's working. Mm. Good stuff, Spurs. Uh, yeah, Good stuff, I, I always lack another Mitch. So keep it up, Paul Mitch. Exactly. Paul choice. Mitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll call him two first names, whatever. <laughs> um, also, I'm pretty excited this week because yeah. Rio Ferdinand, I don't know if you saw this on Twitter, he's done a tweet saying that Eric Dyer is 100% a future England international. He named a few different defenders, Eric Dyer was one of them. Definitely, definitely future England international. How do you feel about that? I, I mean, I, I like Dyer. I don't you think don't him, I don't do I don't think he's the greatest defender in the world, Not but yet. if future. Rio Ferdinand says it, yeah. it's got to have some credibility behind it. Exactly. You can't say 100% though because you don't pick the team, Rio, so you know. Just say, I mean, they might do in the future, you never know. Oh, Rio Ferdinand good. for England manager, you heard it here. A manager from first, Peckham. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, have we ever had a manager from Peckham? I don't before? think so, no. Who knows? I've been to Rio's restaurant though in Manchester. 100% excellent. Food. Ah, yeah. Good stuff. Also, pretty exciting. Uh, Chicharito to Spurs? Maybe? Who knows? He's a poacher. He is. I'd, I'd take love him. him. I would absolutely love him at Spurs. The problem I have is that would he... I mean, he already can sit on the bench at Real Madrid yeah. or Man United, so why would he just come sit on the bench at Spurs? Because he's not going to get... He's not going to start above Harry Kane, is he? What? Is he? Maybe in other competitions, FA Cup starts, the League Cup yeah. starts, Would you Europa prefer him starts. to Berahino? Yeah, I feel like he's got a bit more experience. Yeah. Little Mexican Speedy Veteran. Gonzalez type character. Yeah. You know, everywhere, all over the place. Headers, everything. Barino is still unproven in my books. Don't need another young, up and coming English striker. Nah, we don't need. Don't him. need two. Nah. Plus, he split with his agent, AD Ward. He just left him in the dust. So, Barino, I'm doubting you right now. <laughs> how do you? I mean, how do you know that? I got insiders. Insider info from yeah. Craig Paul uh -huh. Mitchell. Uh, this has been Spurverts Part 2. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment on what you think of all this stuff. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. We have been rumoured today in the Metro to be putting in a bid and having talks with Fiorentina for Josep Ilicic. Now I know what you're thinking.